All right, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says her Green New Deal will save the planet. In exchange, we just give up cars and airplanes and rebuild every structure in the United States. We'll also, by the way, need to invent brand new forms of energy that science hasn't conceived of yet. How much will this cost? That's unclear. How will we pay for it? Unknown. Who will make this happen? Well, workers, obviously, though anyone who is, quote, unwilling to work will still get paid by the government. In other words, not all of the details have been ironed out as of tonight, and that's why we're grateful that Robert Hockett is here. He's a law professor at Cornell. He's advising Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez on the Green New Deal, and he joins us. Professor, thanks very much for coming on. So thanks, can Tucker. I just ask the obvious question? Why would we ever pay people who are, quote, unwilling to work? Uh, I, we, we never would, right? And, and AOC has never said anything like that, right? I think you're referring to some sort of a document that some, I think some doctored document that somebody other than us has been circulating. Oh, I thought that came right from her. That was in the background or from her office is my understanding. No, no. She's actually tweeted it out to laugh at it. If you look at her latest tweets, it seems that apparently some Republicans have put it out there. I don't know the oh, well, details. Good. Well, then, then thank you for correcting me. I mean, because it, was yeah. like, it seemed a little ridiculous. Almost as ridiculous as the idea that we're going to build enough light rail to make airplanes unnecessary, which I think actually is from uh, the plan. I don't, I, I don't know where you got that either, Tucker. I, I actually I believe that you're actually on our side about this if you actually read the actual plan, right? There's nothing about well, getting I, I rid have. of anything. It's about expanding menu options, right? I mean, there are many, many things we want to be able to do now in addition to what we already do. So, what's, so where's the airplane disappearance coming from? I'm not really clear on where that um, originated. Well, I could actually get it for you. This is that would uh, be great. Frequently asked questions that. released by her office, and I'm quoting from it. And yeah, maybe yeah. this maybe this is fraudulent. In which case, I hope you'll correct me. Mm -hmm. But it says that the Green New Deal would, and I'm quoting, totally overhaul transportation, and that would mean quote building out high speed rail at a scale where air travel would stop becoming necessary. Hawaii that's, Senator, Hawaii that's Senator Maisie Hirono responded to that by saying mm -hmm. that would be hard for Hawaii. So I don't think that's made up. The but senator from no, Hawaii No, 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 but, but I mean, it's, it's, it apparently is being misunderstood, right? We're really talking about expanding optionality here. We're not talking about getting rid of anything, right? We're talking about basically making it cost effective to move into more modern forms of technology, more modern forms of production, which would then enable people actually cost effectively to transition to that stuff. We're not we're talking about requiring anything or prohibiting anything. Oh. That's sort of oh, 1980s then, style environment. Oh, okay, but I don't wait, but hold on. I don't I don't want you to back away from mm -hmm. what she herself has said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all of this with the caveat that, you know, a lot of this won't happen, maybe none of it, but these are the ideas that she's articulating. She did so on NBC well, last I, I week. I promise you, Tucker, I won't back away from anything okay, she said. Then, Indeed, then, we're then pushing said, forward, then, right? Then I mean, she said, well, yeah, at high speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> very high speed. To, yeah, that we're yeah. going to supplant all fossil fuels in 12 years. Yes, yes. So, well, yes. Okay, so that, so that would doesn't mean, mean... That doesn't mean stop, that doesn't mean prohibiting them. It means rendering them obsolete by doing something better. And we can okay, do then, it. This then, is America. Then good. We then can I'm do glad. anything. It's, and it's nice to have an, a, a smart person on the show to explain this. What about air travel, which is critical to our economy? This is a continental country. It stays the same. Okay, right? but, but no, because that requires fossil fuel. That might, we're not talking about, we're talking about carbon neutrality, remember? We're talking about net zero emissions. That doesn't mean that there's never any burning of anything, right? I mean, until we come up with solar panel flying airplanes, oh, of course, we're I, not I'm going sorry, to... I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I, I, I just want to correct, I just had, because this seemed like we were making news on the show. Mm. The unwilling to work thing was in her backgrounder. That has no, been absolutely no, confirmed. No, You're no, no, saying no. Definitely, no. definitely not, definitely not. Okay, so NBC and lots of, of other news outlets are saying that that was in the background and you're yeah, saying it's fraudulent. That's erroneous, right? Now, there might be new details now that you know about that I don't because I've been doing media all day, but the story all day... Yeah, I don't... I, I think that was actually in the document. I'm, I, I the read wrong, it as it came out. Well, it's, so. the, wrong, it's the wrong document, Tucker. If well, yeah, was, well, it's definitely the wrong, yeah, that's, that's, definitely that's, the wrong document. That's not us. No, so, we so, certainly so, don't so what you're saying like is that, right? we're not getting rid of fossil fuels actually, even though you just said yes, we were. Because no, no, we're rendering them obsolete for most purposes purposes that are used for now, right? But air that travel is a huge source, but a that's huge like, source. Hence the word most before, right? Okay. We eliminate them for most purposes okay, for which so, they're but used that now would by cars. rendering them so obsolete. So I've got two gasoline-powered cars yes, at home. but imagine how much better it's going to be when it's cost-effective to drive electric cars. But that can't be done simply by individuals, right? You have to coordinate. You have to have charging stations everywhere. And of course, individuals can't do that, right? So in that sense, the government is acting like a kind of orchestra but, conductor here. 
here. We're trying to coordinate right. some of that stuff that can only then, be then centrally why, coordinated and enable everybody to act individually without, within that framework, right? Yeah, that doesn't, I don't fully understand what you're saying, but let me just, I mean, on the low end, this would be the most expensive thing that the United States has ever it, undertaken, it would including be, rural electrification, the Second World War. And I'm just kind of wondering, in a country that's got more debt than it has GDP, how would we pay for that? Well, here's the key, right? Remember that we racked up enormous debt to finance the Second World War effort and the we New did. Deal and, of course, the interstate highway system in the 50s. But here's the key point. Here's a takeaway. I want you to remember this. I hope everybody will remember this. Remember that inflation is a relation, right? It's the relation between the quantity of money and the quantity of goods. Now, okay. if the money that you're spending is resulting in the production of a great many more goods, you have no inflation problem. More production absorbs more expenditure. The problem with the $7 trillion that was spent during the Bush right. years okay. and, of course, the last tax cut was that it wasn't actually productive. But note that even that didn't bring about inflation. Okay. Right? I, but we're still not getting close to it. And by the way, I'm just getting all this in my ear. And we're actually going to follow up on this next week. Okay. That unwilling Good. to work line, which you're obviously embarrassed about, and, and you should be, of no, course. No, no. I'm not embarrassed. That it's was just not in us. the document. It's not embarrassing. And, no, Tucker. No, 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 Tucker. No, no, no. We're not embarrassed by what's not ours. No, Tucker. We're not embarrassed by what's not ours. Okay. Okay. We want to clarify that it's not ours. But we're going to get to the bottom of that. Yes, we are. We're going to prove we it one way or the other, and I hope you will come back. I will. I, Professor, I'll thank them. you. Thanks it's, so much. I'm glad. I'm always grateful when people on the other side come on, including you. Thank you.